Have I overpacked for three days? Most definitely. Welcome back friends. I am perched on the floor because I am packing my bags. I am going away for a long weekend with my friends, family. You, you, if you've been watching the vlogs or following me on Instagram for a while, you'll be very familiar with them. It is Claire and Sally. She is Scotland with Fluffy Wolf on Instagram. So anyway, I'm just finished packing my bags. I've watered my outside plants, done my dishes. Just need to take the rubbish out and Claire's coming around to pick me up. So I'm going to bring you along. I don't know what sort of what we'll get up to, if it'll just be a very chill weekend, but I know that quite a few of you are a fan of just very relaxing walks and very, yeah, peaceful, a peaceful vlog is what I'm aiming for. And also maybe show you some of the sort of the nature and the scenery. I'm not going to exactly say where we're going because they live there and I I don't know how they feel about that so just to protect their privacy but it is north of Edinburgh where we're going and yeah I better get going but I just wanted to come on here introduce the vlog let you know what's going on and I'll see you very soon I'm reading a few different things at the moment sort of halfway through so I know I've read a good chunk of East of Eden so I'm gonna bring that with me and see how I get on I also have a Raymond Chandler one I've never read his books before and I found it in a little library two days ago so as well as that Drop some stuff in the back. <laughs> I've overpacked. Holiday, Miss Sal. Are you ready for a holiday? Yes. Yes. Shall we get in the car? So we're all packed up and ready to go. And since a few of you said how much you enjoyed the narration in the last video, I thought I would add a little to this one too. We set up north from Edinburgh and we saw this wonderful vintage car en route. Unfortunately, this is the best clip I got of it. Sally spent most of the time sleeping in the car and we heard gentle snoring in the background which is just adorable. It was lovely to leave the city behind and head up north into the countryside and it was a beautiful sunny day and I do really enjoy a rainy Dreek day but with the sun shining through the trees and bouncing off the loch as we drove by it, it was just really, really beautiful. So we've arrived safe and sound in our destination. So we've dumped the bags and we're gonna go and take Miss Sally for a walk. So since we didn't have too long until it was time to head home for dinner, Claire and Sally showed me a few of their favourite spots to walk nearby their home and their views were just beautiful. And Sally had a great time rolling about and exploring her turf as she hadn't been there for a few days, checking out to see what's changed and what could she chase. There were so many lovely signs of autumn beginning in the leaves changing and just the sort of crispness in the air as well because it's definitely a bit cooler up north than in Edinburgh. And we also had this beautiful golden light because of the time of day and we saw so many sheep grazing on the hill basking in the sunlight and 
There was so much heather as well, and I really love heather. I just think it's such a pretty flower. I actually have some in my window box at the moment too. On our way back we met this beautiful big white horse and because he's so used to Claire and Sally he came over to say hello to us and him and Sally had a good sniff at each other but um, we did keep Sally on a leash because we were near the sheep. When we got back in, all we needed to do was pop in the pasta bake that Claire had prepared earlier into the oven and dinner was served. It was such a cosy evening. We had pasta bake, garlic bread and cups of tea and then before I knew it, it was time to head to bed. friends it is the afternoon we had a very chill morning we just had some tea we sat outside had something to eat and just watched Sally and I'm just um, heating up some soup for lunch now and then we plan to take Sally for a nice long lovely walk um, we haven't quite decided where we're going yet but I think to somewhere very relaxing quite nearby and we'll maybe let Sally herself choose where she wants to go and we'll just follow her um, but yeah, it's just been really nice and quiet. It has really been um, like coming and just switching off. I have no internet. Um, I have some books with me, which I was reading this morning as well. I haven't read East of Eden for a long time, so I was just trying to remind myself exactly what the story is all about. Um, so yeah, that's our, our day so far. <laughs> just warming up some soup that was frozen, it's still in a little bit of a chunk there. And then we're going to have some toasties for lunch as well, I think. next to a semi-busy road so hopefully you can hear me fine. 
but we're just setting out on our walk and I can't wait to bring you along to see what we're gonna see hopefully some deer maybe you never know I did hear some mention of mountain goats you never know um, and maybe some mushrooms <laughs> Well, the path that we're walking along is part of the Rob Roy Way which connects Dryman in Stirling to Pitlochry in Perth and Kinross and for the section that we walked along it was very well paved and it wasn't steep it was just a very leisurely walk with amazing views and we didn't see that many people actually just the occasional group of cyclists or a few cyclists along the way and in general we had the place to ourselves. Oh, the scenery is amazing Along the way, Claire and Sally showed me one of their favourite picnic spots which I'm sworn to secrecy <laughs> about the location and we just let Sally play about in the stream and she found herself a stick and me and Claire sat on the side on a blanket enjoying our cups of tea which we'd brought in a flask and just the sounds of the river or the little waterfall and the views. Then it was time to set off again because we were only about halfway along the route that we wanted to walk so we better get moving in case sunset comes or it begins to rain because it did look a little ominous in the distance but how beautiful does that light look shining on the hill. Then we saw a deer, I don't know if you can see it in this video, I'm trying to point it to you and it was watching us so it wasn't moving so it's quite hard to spot it. And then we also saw some more running away in the distance, which was really lovely to spot. Just as we were nearing our destination, we spotted a big um, bramble bush and Claire suggested that we pick some brambles and make it into a sort of syrup to have with ice cream or um, I think we ended up having it with some mango this evening actually. Thank you. 
afternoon friends it is Sunday so I've been here since Friday and today we've decided to take a little drive to go and visit Loch Awe and hopefully Kiltern Castle that's the plan anyway we've just had a very quiet morning and early afternoon so far I woke up and went for a short walk but I just wanted to enjoy the sights and sounds so I didn't um, bring the camera with me and then we just had a lovely lunch and it's just been very chill, very relaxing. Sally's snoozing down here, waiting for us all to be ready to leave. Um, I've never been to Loch Awe or Kiltern Castle, so that's really exciting. And I'm looking forward to bringing you along to see what we see. And yeah, it's, it's my kind of weather as well. It's slightly drizzly every now and then. It's grey skies. I'm hoping for some mizzle because Kiltern Castle can look quite dramatic and atmospheric in the right weather. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. We ready? We ready? So yours up here? Yes. I'll bring mine too then. As we headed towards Kilchurn Castle, the weather definitely took a turn. It didn't look that bad in the morning, but it definitely looked quite ominous by this point in the day. So Claire and her dad suggested that we make a little stop at one of Argyle's top tourist attractions called St Conan's Kirk. And this is just a charming little church beside Loch Awe, and it's in the village of Loch Awe as well. And you can go in and have a look around. I think they might even have a tea room at certain times of the year. So that was a lovely little stop off point and we hoped that the weather would it's maybe improve and then we could head along to Kiltern Castle. church welcomes people to come in and have a look around and they it, there's beautiful views across the lock. I can imagine um, what it would look like on a sunny day but it was very atmospheric when we visited as well. I would highly recommend looking up the story behind the church if you're interested and popping by to visit if you're in the area. Well, as you can see from this video, the weather did not improve. In fact, it got worse. So we didn't think it was wise to go to Kilchurn Castle because you have to walk through a field to get to the castle and we just thought it would be really muddy and Sally would just get so dirty. So instead, Claire's dad very kindly offered to take us to Oban, which I had never been to before. We just thought that maybe the weather would be better in Oban. Unfortunately, that was not the case either, but I was thrilled to be able to visit it because it's been on my list of places to visit for a really long time. So even though we were just there for about an hour, it was really fun to see it.
this is most definitely not the best lighting but this is the best we can do <laughs> because it's dusk at the moment and we have just got back in I think the last time I spoke to you and I might have explained it with narration or whatever before this but um, our plan was to go to Loch Awe, um and Kilturn Castle and just take Sally for a walk and visit this cute little church whose name I can't remember at this present moment but I'll pop it on the screen because it's just adorable. It's a really lovely old well not Victorian building but it looks pretty old with a great view over the lock. Um, but because the weather changed pretty dramatically as you will have seen in the video we ended up deciding to drive a little bit further and go to Oban um, but the weather was just as bad and open. <laughs> but I've never been to Oban before, so that was a real treat for me. So I'm really grateful that they um, sort of went out of their way to take me up to Oban for the first time. We pretty much all that I filmed is all that we saw. We just parked for maybe half an hour, walked along the is it promenade, maybe along the front in the rain, um, looked at the boats, and then we've headed back home. So we're absolutely exhausted. We're just going to cook some dinner. I know you probably won't see anything in this video, but we went for the most wonderful evening walk. To be honest, I wasn't very keen because it was cold and dark, but I'm so glad that I made the effort because I've never seen stars shine this brightly before because there's not a whole lot of light pollution. It was just a magical walk. And then it was back home again and Sally curled up for a snooze while we decided what movie we were going to watch. I perused their bookshelf of movies and I picked out five of my favourite comforting movies and since no one had really any inclination of which one they fancied watching, I decided we'd watch Knives Out. So we made some popcorn and cosied down to watch the movie. So that's the end of my weekend away. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. I thought I would include a few funny outtakes of Sally running after me as I went back to fetch my camera. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!